Does this look different than looking at a picture in a book or yeah, because it's on the real time and it's constantly changing? Yeah. I've never seen the moon up close. Now say it again. It looks different than looking in a book or on the internet. Watch out for you. He's trying to kind of get that. Yeah, it looks different because it's constantly changing. Yeah. You can actually see it from night to night change. Yeah. Each night, the light fills in the craters that are kind of disconnected and broken. It's it's on a tracking motor called an equatorial drive, but I don't know if you're actually seeing it stay in the, where it's supposed to be there. Right. It's moved. Is it still pretty centered? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's supposed to be. On a, I set it up a couple times tonight to keep it There's tracking. There's also so much more depth when you're looking through a telescope. You can see the texture, and you can see a lot more of like the pools and where the craters hit. Like you can see right. the depth in in the telescope. Those dark areas you see, there's uh, no, right, no, all you know. the shadows, like right. it just really shows we, how textured the moon is. You're seeing the edge of light there with it, it fills in phase in the next few nights until it's full a few more nights from now. But wow. the dark smooth gray areas are known, known as mare, or, which means Latin for seas or oceans. The ancients looked up and just saw with their eyes and they assumed there were oceans that are on the surface like the earth. It does look like it. It looks like oceans with no skies to reflect back in it. Yeah, and it's uh, there's three big circular dark areas there toward the top. Mm -hmm. They're not completely lit in yet, but the middle one, I believe, is the Sea of Tranquility, yeah. where the first astronauts set foot, uh, Armstrong and Aldrin. In Imagine six... somebody was up there standing on that. Yeah, and they did it, what did they do it? A dozen times, I think? Yeah. Those last Apollo missions. Maybe not that many times, but anyway, I'm glad you had a chance to look. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love the moon. I stare at it like all the time. So it's just like to see it like just in so much detail and mm -hmm. expression and life and it's just so much realer and it's just like it's intense. You could use this in a PBS special maybe. <laughs> Whatever you'd like. There's been, yeah, there's been quite a few done uh, in the last 10 years. Great astronomy specials on television uh, showing people observing. You know, President Obama had a star party on the lawn awesome. of the White House. Cool. And they brought out Buzz Aldrin, the second guy to step foot wow. on the moon, and a bunch of other uh, astronauts and young scientists. Uh, I might just get a telescope. You don't have one yet. <laughs> no, I've you... had one, but it's like a kid one. Oh, you did. Yeah. Do you remember looking through it as a child? I do, but never this. It's never been this intense to see things in such detail. Uh, was it here in the Portland area? Um, it was. It was in Gresham. You grew up in Gresham. Wow, it's pretty yeah. close to it. Yeah, I built a home in Trout Hill there for my first wife and daughter and I That's in awesome. the late 1980s. But wow. The Rose City astronomers actually do star parties. They bring out these big telescopes for the public to look through. Yeah. And if you're a club member, you can. I feel like I'm selling something here now, but I'm not. No, I'm just. If you're, it's like thirty dollars a year to be a club member. Mm -hmm. You can borrow these telescopes for free. Really? Like this design, but even bigger. Wow. After no. after being a member for five months, they let you take them home, like checking them out of a library, That's like so books. Cool. Yeah, and they have a big uh, telescope workshop one Saturday a month wow. over on Swan Island. It draws a lot of public to come by, and they they maintain these telescopes and they have informationals about how to repair them if people have problems. That's awesome. Anyway. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. I have to get back to the party. Wow. Okay. I was thinking maybe you worked in there. But... No, I don't. Okay. I'm just, I'm I'm probably going to go in and get a drink here and put the scope away in a while. You Mind if I ask your name? Uh, Zoe. Zoe? I'm Mark, the Rose City Astronomers. Good to meet you. I'll come in and have a drink with me before I leave. We'll see you.